Well, back with another video exposing the Talmudic Jewish lobby's tradition going back 2,000 years of censoring speech they don't like, no different than the Nazis would. The only difference uh, between the apostles in the Book of Acts, uh, with their experiences with the Jewish lobby, and the Talmudic Jewish lobby of today is the fact that their tactics have changed. The goal has not changed, of the goal of censoring speech they don't like. It's just the tactics they use that are different now. Instead of trying to murder those, like the apostles, they tried to murder the apostles for, you know, essentially saying things they didn't like, they now try to use legal ways to shut you down. You know, like I said, it's no different than the Nazis, but it's a consistent 2,000 year history that the uh, Talmudic Jewish lobby has. So, and this is just yet another example of that. So this is uh, an opinion piece on uh, Hertz.com. Once again, you have another, you know, uh, I guess you could say um, voice, you know, uh, standing alone, you know, that is going against the tide, calling it out. And, you know, there is credit to give there. It says here on Hertz.com, American, Jew American Jewish establishment stifles free speech to silence Zionism's critics. According to the Senate's new Anti-Semitism Awareness Act, Harry, Harry Netta Zold, uh, Hannah Ardnett and Martin Buber, I think that's how you say it, could uh, also be defined as Jew haters. Now, I need to point something out about the whole thing of uh, Zionism. Uh, I support racial Israel, their right to be physically in that land. I, I've said this like multiple times before, but I need to say it again because I'm still going to get accused of being racist. I don't, when I talk despairingly of Jews, I'm referring to religious, you know, Jews as a religious group. I've never, I, I, that's why I make a distinction between racial Israelites um, and then. Jews as the religious group. See, Jew, Jew can refer to the Israelite and also refer to them as, also refer to, sorry, the religious group, okay? And when I talk despairingly of Jews, I'm talking despairingly of Jews as a religious group, same way I would talk about Islam, you know, or, or Hinduism. So, I uh, need to point that out. Judaism, I'm criticizing Judaism, religious Jews, not racial Israel. Plain and simple. So, I need to just kind of point that out. But, continuing on in the article. It says, with every passing year, the American Jewish establishment poses a greater threat to free speech in the United States. The reason is simple. With every passing year, Israeli control of the West Bank grows more permanent. And so with every passing year, the American progressives question, or I'm sorry, more American progressives question Zionism. After all, if Jewish statehood permanently condemns the millions of West Bank Palestinians to live as non-citizens under military law without free movement or the right to vote in the government that controls their lives, it's hardly surprising that Americans who loathe discrimination and cherish equality would grow uncomfortable uncomfortable with the concept. And, you know, progressivism and liberalism is, is just every bit is part of the problem of what's destroying uh american civilization plain and simple but and by the way the, the, those at the forefront of the progressive social liberal, liberal degeneracy is the jesuit ran talmudic jewish lobby what a shock uh, says in the article continuing on and the more those uh, more of those Americans voiced this discomfort the more establishment American Jewish organizations work to classify anti-Zionism as anti-Semitism punishable by law the latest example is the Anti-Semitism Awareness Act which the Senate passed unanimously on December 2nd the act pushed by APAC the Anti-Defamation League and the Jewish Federations of America instructs the Department of Education Civil Rights Office to follow the definition of anti-Semitism set forth by the Special Envoy uh, to monitor and combat anti-Semitism of the Department of State, uh, sorry, of, of the uh, Department of State, in the fact sheet issued on June eighth, twenty ten. Uh, 2010. This article was from a few years back, but still is relevant in light of recent events. So, but continuing on in the article, it says, uh, "Sounds uh, innocuous enough until you look at what the fact sheet says." Following the definition hatched by a Soviet dissident turned Israeli right winger Nathan Sharansky, the fact sheet defines anti-Semitism among among other things, denying the Jewish people right to self-determination and denying Israel the right to exist. This is nuts. Across the world, numerous people desire self-determination. Kurds have been seeking their own Kurds have been seeking their own state since the late 19th century, roughly the same period as Jews hatched Zionism. You know the funny thing about that is a lot of these same. Uh, you know, Judaic, you know, Judeo-Zionists who would say that, oh, it's it's, it's hate speech to, to deny uh, self-determination of Jews. These are the same people who would slam white nationalism as racist, which is simply just white self-determination. So essentially, you know, uh, basically an ethno-state for us, but not for you guys, you know. Bunch of garbage. 
it's hypocrisy at its finest, but, you know, the religion of Judaism, and the false religion, is rife with that kind of stuff. It's what the Pharisees were rebuked for in Matthew 23. Continuing on. After all, Palestinians want their own state. Many American Jewish leaders oppose it. So why aren't those, high, those leaders bigots under, uh, under the very principle they're trying to write into law? The truth is, is that political Zionism, the belief that Jews enjoy the greatest safety and self-expression in their own state, has been controversial even among Jews in the early 20th century. Many Orthodox Jews called Zionism a violation of Jewish law. The American reform Jews argued that Jews were a faith, not a people, and thus had no homeland other than the United States. Other prominent Jewish thinkers, including Judah Mang Manganese, who founded uh, Hebrew University, Harrianetta Zold, who founded Hadassah, told the philosophers Hannah Ardniet and Martin Buber, argued that a Jewish state would, uh, would dispossess Palestinians and bring war. They argued for a bi-national state instead. This didn't make them anti-Semites. Now, Scripturally speaking, the land of Israel belongs to the Jews, the racial Israelites, not their, their uh, disgusting, blasphemous, false religion and their dirty, blasphemous Talmud. But, uh, you know, the thing about Israel is that I'm not this kind of person who says that, who basically acts like they can never do anything wrong and they're always perfect. If anything, scripturally speaking, Israel is, uh, is the exact opposite of perfect. They're full of all kinds of sin and wickedness over there. Hence the reason why the time of Jacob's trouble, where God puts, basically puts them through seven years of his wrath, you know, they're the furthest thing from perfect. So that's why I say that my support for Israel is simply that they have that racial Israel has the right to be in that land. And that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm not this kind of person who just says that everything that the, the Israeli state does is basically perfect. If anything, it's the opposite. You know, a lot of what they do is actually pretty wicked. You know, but that's the point at the time of Jacob's trouble. But you see, the problem with this whole anti-Semitism thing is that it's going to lump in criticism of their false religion and criticism of their blasphemous Talmud with actual like you know nazi type of uh racism they would they would call it it's a bunch of garbage i would know because i've been called you know names like hitler jr on my videos criticizing their blasphemous false religion of judaism and their blasphemous filthy talmud but it's a bunch of garbage but hey it's a consistent record of the talmudic jewish lobby since the days of the apostles and even during the days of christ when they're trying to kill him for you know rebuking their their, their heresy and wickedness so anyway may the grace of our lord jesus christ be with all the brethren goodbye Thank you.